Hello friends. Welcome back. In today's video we are going to see what is counting semaphore and how to use it. Here we are using ESP32 and Arduino IDE to implement this. So let's see what is counting semaphore in FreeRTOS. In FreeRTOS, a counting semaphore is a synchronization object that allows multiple tasks to access a shared resource or perform a certain action in a controlled manner. A counting semaphore maintains a count value that can be increment or decrement by tasks. When the count value is zero, the semaphore is considered to be empty and any task that attempts to take the semaphore that is decrement its count value will be blocked until another task releases the semaphore. That is, increments its count value. When the count value is greater than zero, the semaphore is considered to be full and tasks can take the semaphore without being blocked. The main difference between a counting semaphore and a binary semaphore, which only has two states, available and unavailable, is that a counting semaphore can allow multiple tasks to access a shared resource simultaneously, while a binary semaphore only allows one task to access the resource at a time. When to use counting semaphore? Counting semaphores are typically used in free RTOS when multiple tasks need to access a shared resource or perform a certain action in a controlled manner. Here are some common use cases for counting semaphores. 1. Resource sharing. Counting semaphores can be used to manage access to shared resources such as buffers, queues, and other data structures. For example, a task that needs to read data from a buffer can take a semaphore to ensure that it has exclusive access to the buffer until it is finished reading. Other tasks that need to read from the same buffer can also take the semaphore as long as the count is not zero. This allows multiple tasks to share the same resource without causing data corruption or other synchronization issues. 2. Task Synchronization Counting semaphores can be used to synchronize the execution of multiple tasks that need to work together to accomplish a common goal. For example, in a real-time system, a set of tasks may need to be triggered to execute in a specific order. By using counting semaphores to signal the completion of each task, the next task in the sequence can be allowed to execute. 3. Rate Limiting Counting semaphores can be used to limit the rate at which tasks can access a resource or perform an action. For example, if a task needs to perform a certain action at a fixed rate, a counting semaphore can be used to ensure that the task does not exceed the desired rate. Now let us see the code to see how counting semaphore works. Let us go to Arduino IDE. Here counting semaphore is declared as handle. In the setup section. The counting semaphore is created using the API. X semaphore create counting. Here first argument passed is maximum semaphore value. Which is set as 3. And second is initial semaphore value which is declared as 0. Here we print the current semaphore value using the API. UX semaphore get count where counting semaphore is passed as an argument. This API returns the current count of the semaphore. Next the counting semaphore is given by using API. X semaphore give. Next the semaphore count is printed again. No code is written in loop section. Now it's time to flash the ESP32. Connect your ESP32 board with PC or laptop. Select the board and port. And upload the code by clicking on upload. After uploading the code. Start the serial monitor. You can see initially the value of semaphore count is 0. And after semaphore is given the count has increment to 1. Now we will write x semaphore give 3 times. Let's upload the code. After uploading the code start the serial monitor. So initially the semaphore count is 0. After giving semaphores thrice the semaphore count is now 3. Now we create a task that is task 1. This is a task 1 function. Where we print the semaphore count on entry. The task tries to take semaphore. If semaphore count is 0 then it stays into blocking mode. When the semaphore count becomes more than 0 then. The task takes the semaphore. After getting the semaphore. 
the current semaphore count is printed in the serial monitor. In the setup section as the semaphore is already given thrice and value semaphore is 3. Now we are ready with our code. Let us flash the code. After flashing the code start the serial monitor. Here we see the initial value of semaphore count is 0. Then it became 3. When task gains the semaphore the value of semaphore count becomes 2. Next time when task again claims semaphore then. Count value is 1. When task again claims semaphore then. Count value becomes 0. After the semaphore count becomes 0 the task cannot claim the semaphore and it stays into blocking state. So in this code we have see how the semaphore is increment and decrement. When semaphore is given the count increases. And when semaphore is taken the count value deceases. Now we will see the code where one task controls the resource that serial port by managing the semaphore. Other task waits for the semaphore. When it gets the semaphore it execute the serial port code. Here the semaphore handle is created. This is the task 1 function which gives the counting semaphore. The semaphore count is printed in serial monitor. Before and after the counting semaphore is given. After this this task enters into waiting state. This is the second task which wants to take the semaphore. If semaphore is not available then it waits till the semaphore is available. When this task takes the semaphore then it prints the semaphore count in the serial monitor and again waits for taking the semaphore. The availability of the counting semaphore is managed by Task 1 In setup section the counting semaphore is created. The maximum semaphore count set is 1 and the initial semaphore value is set as 0. Here the two tasks Task 1 and 2 are created with priority set as 1. So we are ready to flash the code in the ESP32. Let us upload the code. When the code is uploaded start the serial monitor. Now we can see in task 1 case. The semaphore count is 0 before giving the semaphore. But after semaphore is given the count becomes 1. In task 2 case. The semaphore count is 0 when the task 2 gets the semaphore. After this task 2 waits for the availability of semaphore till then it goes into the wait state. That's it for the day. In this video we have seen what is counting semaphore and how to implement it. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you found this video interesting. If you like the video then please hit the like button. Please share this video with your friends. And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks again and have a good time.